Hi everyone, welcome to Monthly Messages with your Angels and your Higher Self with me, Julie Poole. If this is your first time here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe, click that little bell so you don't miss a thing. All the cards that I use are in the description below and the links to your weeklies and your other monthlies for your moon and rising, all in the description below. All right then, let's dive right in. Hello my beautiful people. So, the energy of the month of August, they are showing me for all signs, is the number eight. And obviously, August is the eighth month. Now, as they're showing me the eight like this, they are turning it sideways. And when I say they, I'm talking with my higher self and my angels. I don't work with guides and spirits. So this is my little team here. And they're showing me this eight and moving it sideways and showing me the infinity symbol for everybody and saying, this month, harness the power of eight. Okay, the number eight represents infinity and it also represents abundance. So it's for us because we are empowered to use and harness the forces of the universe that work with us. So this month, guys, for everybody, I want you to first of all know that you are infinite and that means you are powerful. You have infinite possibilities, infinite probabilities. You are never disempowered, even when you're in those lows. You know, life goes like this sometimes, doesn't it? And when we're in that bottom bit, when it's like, ugh, feels a bit stuck, feels a bit, woe is me, I'm helpless, it's not fair. We all have that sometimes, so don't worry about that. But please know when you're in that bit and you've forgotten how powerful you are, use the number eight. Just imagine that number eight turning sideways and that infinity symbol saying, I am infinite. I am God, goddess, all that is personified. I am strong. I am the creator. I can be and do anything. And I am abundant. Now with the eight, they're showing me this flow like a river of energy moving towards you tap into that. I am abundant. I have flow of energy all around me. I have flow of light all around me. And within that, I can draw to me anything I want to label onto it, whether that be money or love or ease or peace, whatever it is that you want to attach. Just imagine a little energy of peace jumping on that infinity and riding it all the way to you, that you are infinite. This is your absolute divine right. It is my right to be abundant, to be all of who I can be. So this month for everybody, the intuitive message is about not so much stepping into your power. I was just going to say stepping into your power and they're saying no, you are powerful. You can't step into something that you already are. You just need to raise your awareness to match that of who you are. You are already powerful, but you forget. So this month, the energy, the intuitive message coming from your higher selves and your angels is to remember, to remember, to recall, I am powerful, I am. Now, is there anything else they want me to add? No, the rest of the messages are going to be for individual signs in addition to this. So I hope this helps. Let's move into the individual signs. Hello Aquarius, how are we for August 2018? All right then, my darlings, let's see what we get for you. Intuitive messages coming through, please, from the universe, your higher selves, your angels, and your soul source for Aquarius, please, for August. What does Aquarius need to know for August that's going to help them? Can you give me some information, please? Thank you so much for the information you're giving me for Aquarius. Hmm. All right, I'm seeing a diamond shape. A diamond shape crystal. Okay, very similar to this crystal I have here, but this isn't a diamond. So imagine something like this, 
but in a diamond shape because that's what I'm seeing for you guys. So what they're wanting you to know, whoa, this is a lot of affirmation and confirmation from the universe for you. They want you to know that you are a diamond, a shining star, a shining brightly star, a diamond in the sky. Um, I've got that song in my head. Uh, is it Katy Perry, Diamond? It's Shine Bright Like a Diamond. Uh, shine Bright Like a Diamond. That's what the song is playing over in my head. Let yourself shine bright like a diamond in the sky. All right, so show me something else. Now, off this diamond, they're showing me beams of light coming out. This is you, guys, okay? This is lovely, Aquarius. Okay, so what's this about? How is this going to help them for August? You don't let your light shine, is what they're telling me. You hide your light under a bushel. Many of you have this belief, uh, going back from grandparents' generations, about um, not patting yourself on the back, you know, don't don't sing your own so song, don't shout out how wonderful you are, that it's wrong, it's bad, it's arrogant, it's uh, conceited. These are beliefs that many of us hold and they're not good for us. Our soul wants us to shine bright like a diamond, to, to shine our light out and to celebrate ourselves. So this month for you, Aquarius, is about letting your light shine in a very vocal way. They want you to, first of all, have a conversation with yourself, telling yourself how brilliant you are. All right. When you look at a diamond, one of the words that comes to me when I look at a diamond is the word brilliance, the brilliance of its shine. They're wanting you to look at your own brilliance. OK, so it's it's to enable you um, to move forward because when we achieve and achieve and achieve and achieve and we don't recognize it, we often stay stuck. Whereas when we can see how well we've done at something, we automatically want to reach for more. It's part of life. Life always grows. You know, blade of grass doesn't stop growing when it gets to a certain height and says, that's tall enough for me. It just keeps growing, all right, until we cut it or the wind blows it down or whatever, but it will keep growing until it's reached the end of its cycle. And so what they're asking you to do is recognize your achievements, see how far you've come, see the work you've done, see what's worked and pat yourself on the back. That will then enable you to set some goals for the next bit of growth, all right, to allow yourself. So when you see, oh, I'm really good at that, actually, I'm really exceptionally good at that, then you could throw more attention at that area that you're really good at. And all of this enables you to shine bright like the diamond, to be in your brilliance. That's the energy that's around you for this month, Aquarius. How lovely. Mm -hmm. So let's see what the cards want to add for a little bit more information. See my mosque. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> that one. Mosquito bites living in Spain. All part of it, isn't it? Another one on my arm there. Uh, that one. <laughs> okay, Aquarius. Please show that one. Okay, lovely. We've got the Knight of Wands. I want the next one too. The Two of Wands. And we want the next one too. Okay, Three of Pentacles. And I want the next one. Okay, the Two of Swords reversed. And this is the card we're going to start with. Because the Two of Swords, look at her there. She's blindfolded. She can't see where she's going. Those swords are sitting there not doing much. This is the card that's representing that message I just gave you. So they want you to take off the blindfold so you can see how brilliant you are. We're going to use those swords to cut through, because swords is mental, thoughts and beliefs. Use the swords to cut through those old beliefs back from childhood about not celebrating your successes. Somebody else will pat you on the back. You shouldn't be patting yourself on the back. And, oh, don't big that up. You just look really conceited. They need to go. There is nothing wrong with standing in our power and saying, I'm so proud of me. I've done so well in that area, in that thing. It's 
wonderful to do that so this card guys is asking you to take off the blindfold see yourself use the swords to cut through those old beliefs they've got to go it's time for them to go all right then and this is what the the knight is there they kind of go together because knights are about action so the knight is saying you need to take some action on this all right so the knight of, of wands he is fire and passion so put some passion into this it's no good just saying well yeah i suppose i did quite well <laughs> passion i'm amazing i'm fantastic all right passion we gotta feel it as we feel it we're drawing it to us okay because it's this is about manifesting this is the law of attraction in action all right we want to feel not just think they've got to go together so don't just say it and think it feel it passionately with power and fire all right you are amazing you are all right then we are going to come to this crossroads so what's the two of wands about well it's about different paths coming to um appear they're just showing me them just going kind of ting appearing in front of you as you recognize your own brilliance it starts to open up other paths other doors and those paths do you notice that they are kind of going off like this it's getting wider and wider isn't it it's getting bigger and bigger which is bringing in more opportunities all of the time because the message for you guys for this month my darlings is that when you recognize your own brilliance you can so much easily easier set your goals for where you want to go okay so this is about when is this coming in i'm getting around the 18th 19th of august for you some more second half of the month that we are starting to look at these opportunities that are coming in we're starting to say all right they may not be right in front of you now they may not appear till september or october but you're setting the intention and immediately the universe is on the case to bring it to you and if you haven't watched my law of attraction video why isn't it working for me have a little look at that because that will help you with this manifesting so <clears throat> what else do we want to say about this they're telling me to shush so i can listen okay so this is very much about work and life's work, life's purpose, particularly for those of you who are self-employed, for those of you who are entrepreneurs, that you are brilliant at what you do and we want to expand it. For those of you who are in paid jobs, employed jobs, again, we want to be expanding, expanding our they're just showing me lots of things coming onto the table, expanding what you're doing because you've been a little bit restricted. You've been a little bit stale and we want to open it up into this lovely creative flow. It's beautiful. Now, there's other people involved in this because we've got the Three of Pentacles, which is a card of collaboration, of working with other people, of, of allowing people to come in and work with us. We can be a little bit too independent at times. I can do it, I can do it. Yes, you can, but collaborating with others brings in new ideas, more ideas, things you might not have thought about yourself and you think, God, that's a fantastic idea, I can do that. So collaborating as well with others others now i want to go for another card what else do you want to tell aquarius please for august what else do you want to tell aquarius okay i'm being told to cut the pack okay lovely we've got the fool upside down at the moment let me put these other cards down so i can hold him and have a look at him so the fool at the moment is upside down which means he's not quite ready to come in yet but he's hovering kind of over there in the wings waiting to come in and the fool is a card about new beginnings fresh starts following your instincts following that inner guidance like a home in beacon um, and it is a home in beacon towards your happiness so the fool wants to come in and um, when is he coming in as we're moving from august into september so it's about you doing that work taking off the blindfold letting your light shine there may be a 
a percolating uh, period uh, where you're shining brightly and it may take some weeks for other people to notice but then they will this is going to hit any time between early september end of august early september right through till almost the end of october this could hit in terms of when people finally kind of wake up to how brilliant you are but before they can wake up to how brilliant you are you have to wake up to how brilliant you are and then it's a knock-on effect like the ripples in the pond yeah you get what i mean all right so this is what they're wanting for you now for those of you who are self-employed it's letting people know what you do uh all the different things that you do how brilliant you are at it and as you let that light shine of your brilliance they will recognize it and more clients will come for those of you employed again it's about your bosses your colleagues recognizing your talents and achievements and then more richness as in more uh, inspiring um, f more fulfilling tasks and projects and roles will come your way within relationships all right now they're telling me yeah let's focus on this for a moment many of you in your romantic relationships that do not allow your light to shine how is your partner supposed to see it if you can't see it everything is a mirror if you want your partner to be um, showering you with um, love and appreciation and valuing that has to be a mirror of you valuing and appreciating you so as you let your light shine my darlings your partners will see it and they will start to treat you more valuably and taking you less for granted so it's all about within and the same thing there with relationships for those of you who are single again let your light shine let your brilliance shine as it shines for you others will recognize it and that will draw a partnership to you so let's go on now to the angel messages see what the angels want to add what the angels want to add for aquarius please want a message for aquarius from the angels <laughs> let your light shine we can't get any clearer than this, can we? Let your light shine. So the messages for this month for you guys is shine bright like a diamond. I hope this has helped. And I'll see you next month for more messages from your angels and higher self. Lots of love. Take care. Bye.